Hey everyone, this is Brian, and I'm doing a video response for the card hobbyist to get him to the uh, 500 subscribers that he's real close to. He has a contest, and it's a pretty neat idea to tell five things about yourself that no one might know, and uh, they have to be non-sports related or sports card related. Um, for me, number one right off the bat is that I've been married for 33 years to my lovely wife Shelly. And uh, to me, I think that's quite an accomplishment considering this day and age. Okay, number two on my list of things that I collect outside of the sports are LPs. And you can see here some of the LPs I've collected and kept from when I was back in the 80s and late 70s. Some of the albums that I have kept from then... Jackson Brown, some Jimmy Buffett, The Cars, Chicago, some Phil Collins, some more Phil Collins, and even some more Phil Collins. I was a big fan of his. And over here to the right is a Genesis album. I got to see them several times in concert. There's my Steely Dan. Some Tears for Fears, Dan Fogelberg, and then I was also got this Van Halen. And then for you Southern rockers out there, remember this band, Molly Hatchet. Then there was a good group that came out of Down Under that lasted a short, short time, but a minute work. I had a couple of their albums. And this, the famous one back in the day, We Are the World, with all these stars collaborated. And then one, to me, one of the greatest, or if not best, guitarists around, Dire Straits. He still plays a mean guitar. And then I was a big James Taylor fan as well. And this is the Flag album. And then his Greatest Hits album here. And then I got another... Another album of his as well. Got a couple Toto's. Toto album here. Of course, we can't have an album collection without the Beatles. And then on top of that, I got the Police. Really like their music as well. Synchronicity album. And then the one that I started off, same group, the Rush 2112. And to finish off the rest of my album collection, we got Bob Seger, one of the best albums ever made, Night Moves. Some more Southern Rock with Leonard Skinner. Who Can Forget the Boss, Born in the USA. And this one was a real big album back in the day, Get the Knack, My Sharona. Can't get that, could never get that out of your head for a while. Christine McVie, who was part of the Fleetwood Mac, really loved her voice. Another big guy I liked, shouldn't say big, he was a small in stature, but I loved his music. John Cougar Mellencamp, or as he goes by now as Mellencamp, one of his best albums there. Rod Stewart, another Toto album. And the Hooters, they didn't, weren't around a long time, but they made a nice album here, Nervous Night, really liked that. Bruce Hornsby in the Range, really liked that, this album. A lot of good music in that album. A lot of different uh, musicians. And then we get into the Billies here with Billy Idol. Another Billy Idol. This was during my uh, punk days. <laughs> Back when I had hair. And then, of course, you can forget Billy Joel, one of the greatest pianists of all time. And then to me, a couple albums here, to me, of one of the best groups ever. U2. I got the War album here back in the day and then the Joshua Tree which I play this quite a bit still actually and then the one group that I saw my first concert I ever went to Journey and I got a few of their albums the Journey Frontiers Journey Captured Raised on Radio and then probably one of the favorites of mine Journey Evolution so anyways that's 
another hobby that I have aside from sports cards. And something else I really enjoy, I go once or twice a year down to El Salvador on mission trips. And I've, I've been down there about 10 times, 10 or 11 times now, and um, met some really wonderful people. We, we basically go down and we group up with a church down there and we stay with them in their home. And I'm down there for about a week each time. We'll go to Honduras sometimes as well. And it's just really neat to, to see the love these people have. And to have that love and that joy and they don't have hardly anything very simple I go down there basically to to get my mind back on the real important things in life and part of the trip is also I make these bracelets and these are the colors of El Salvador the blue and white I make these bracelets for them and reason for that is uh, on one of my early trips down there I noticed a lot of the kids wore these type bracelets and one of the girls down there Melanie had this bracelet on and after I'd been down there about four times they realized that I was gonna keep coming back I guess and one day out of the blue during a church service she just uh, walked up to me and gave me this bracelet and said you know basically had an interpreter with her to tell me to keep it so I've never taken it off I wear it all day every day and then this second bracelet here is one that a young man gave me a few years back. His name's Jonathan, and we sponsor him down there. And every time I go down there, I get to see him and visit with him and see how he's doing. And he's grown into quite a young man. He's still in high school, finishing up. But uh, that's the reason I make these bracelets, so that when I go down there, I can make about 30 or 40 of them and give them out to the kids and whatnot. And then the bracelet in between is one that I make for autism which I'll get into on my next video but I just wanted to share that with you as well I do uh, make these bracelets for autism autism awareness as uh, I'm not sure some of you know my son is autistic and we have a business that we started for him in home so along with uh, working at the Space Center and Kennedy Space Center. I work there 40 hours a week, 40, 50 hours a week. I come home and we have a home business that we have for my son, who's now 23 and aged out of programs here, but he does really well with this business. And um, this basically is his uh, business card, I guess you'd say, for the business. And um, My wife, another lady, and him are based, are the main workers but it's a little card that kind of explains our story real quick and what we do the products we make but also and I know this is sports related but I gotta give a shout out to my son and I we uh, we do pretty good bowling as well and that's a hobby that he has taken up ever since he was five or six um, we've done so well we joined Special Olympics this uh, this placard I was showing you here is from a national tournament we went to in Las Vegas back in 2017 and in that national we finished fourth place and uh, throughout the years my son and I we've 
we won some silver medals and some gold medals and uh, I'll tell you he's quite a bowler he'll bowl 200 games without a problem and he bowls granny style and if you don't know what that is look up Rick Barry shooting foul shots because that's how my son bowls he just bends over with two hands and lets it fly down the lane and I'll tell you what he's he's quite a bowler when he's on and uh, I really enjoy that time with him he and I play as a team and also recently this is non-sports related he was awarded through the business or having this business the Space Coast Public Service Awards Hall of Fame and this was locally done through our police force sheriff's force here locally where we live here in Brevard County Florida and it's a plaque that they gave to Jacob as a uh, making a difference award basically and um, they had a big dinner and everything this was back on January 11th 2020 and it was presented to him through the sheriff, our local sheriff, Wayne Ivey, 